Hello lovely friends, thank you so much for being here today for this playful experiment between friends. There was a quick glimpse of the two sew activators I'm using today and the painting. So when I got together with Kim, she's such a wonderful friend and artist, it was very organic, very natural. We decided just purely to make it playful and experimental and that was all we said. So I decided to use this really simple palette using the Amsterdam Black and Amsterdam White for my sew activators and the metallic brown there as the base. It makes a beautiful copper, I really like copper. And then I've used my Abstract Rose Orchid and my Billabong Piggy, which is fast becoming my favorite color. It's just got such a shimmering, beautiful color. I'm really enjoying Billabong along with Psyche and Lagoon as well. But just today it's Billabong, gorgeous paint. So just before we go into this acrylic pouring, there are some things that I've experimented with today that I haven't done before. So I'm using this metallic brown as a base. I'm using naturally forming slate that we find here in Cornwall in the UK. And it was cut into the form of angel wings by my friend Colin during lockdown and it's been sat at the top of my garden and I've wanted to do a pour on them for ages. So what's experimental about this one is the shape of the wings, the fact they're uneven, I don't know how it's gonna dry, the fact that I'm using two cell activators today. So this is quite exciting and I love experimenting in lots of different ways. So I just thought, right, let's get the base down and the techniques I'm using today are the blowout of the base with the hairdryer and then the main technique I'm using to lay down the two sow activators is the swipe. So I've got the swipe and the blowout of the pillow paint. So as you know, for me, this is the most therapeutic part of doing my fluid art paintings. And when I started to lay down the pillow paint, I could see it falling off down the tip of the wings. And I thought, oh, I wonder how that's gonna affect the chemical reaction between the paints. And towards the end, you'll see how they changed in form and how they turned out. So I'm just using the hairdryer to gently blow the paint in a soft way across the I can say canvas then, across the angel wing slate. Um, I've used slate once before, but it was even surface and it, I didn't even think of it as different to normal canvas. But because I'm one that likes to measure with um, a spirit level how even the surface is, because I've learned from the past that when you do a painting and you don't make sure it's level, you come back the next day and it's fallen off to a certain degree. I felt a little bit of intrepidation about how it would turn out. So I'm now just laying down the rest of the pillow paint. It's interesting, when you're painting something like this that's already shaped, you have to go with how deep the edge is. So the edge is about an inch thick. And you also need to go with how thin it is. So I've never used, you see where the tips of the angel wings are? I've never used any surface that's uneven and pointed like that. Um, and so at the beginning I was underestimating how much paint I needed, but that was the exciting part of it. I didn't know what to expect and I had such a fun time doing it. It was such a giggle. So I'm now just pushing the paint down, the tips of the wings. You know, one of the things that made me think about painting an angel wing today on a slate was we all have guardian angels and we all have earth angels around us and Kim is one of those little earth angels she's just a wonder in my life and she's a wonder in so many different people's lives the art that she does her generous nature and the attention to detail when she's noticing things she notices things that other people don't sometimes and it's just such a wonderful quality if you haven't already checked out Kim's channel, go and have a look. She's got some wonderful creations and she's experimenting today with a really, really wonderful method. So I can't wait to see it. If you haven't seen hers already, 
um, pop over and see her. I'll put all her details in the description below. So now the pillow paint's all down and the billabong is being laid down. This is fast becoming one of my favorite, this little piggy pigment. It's got such a beautiful shine. So next to the billabong, I've got my abstract orchid rose. This is a beautiful color if you're doing beach scenes as well. It blends beautifully the metallic brown or copper um, and other sandy colors. And it goes beautifully with blue and the copper. So this simple palette was turning out to be really nice today. I could see as the paints were lying down exactly what was happening. You can see little auras around the paints and you can see they're beginning to interact with each other already. That copper that I've got there has got a tiny bit of Australian Floetrol in it. Not the usual amount that I'd put in it, um, which is three to one. Australian Floetrol to Amsterdam paint and the cell activators that I've tried so far are Amsterdam Copper, Amsterdam Black and Amsterdam White. But one of my upcoming videos, I'm trying the TriArt paints as cell activators. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to show you the results. So I've just got here my Amsterdam cell activator, tiny little bit there. And again, that was the tiny bit of Australian Floetrol on that one. I don't want to confuse you because I'm just mentioning that they did have a bit of Australian Floetrol on them. So it probably does act towards helping the cell activation along. But this is the main cell activator. So I've poured my Amsterdam Black with three parts Floetrol Australian to one part paint and I'm swiping down through the colours. Now this is a really interesting part of the experiment because as I'm swiping, I'm picking up on how uneven the surface is. So I'm thinking, how is this gonna turn out? And now I'm using my white cell activator on each of the wings. And I want to keep the color to the outside, to the, from the center to the outside of the wing. Just making sure that I wipe off the side of the palette knife as I apply the cell activator. So there we go, we've got white on the outside to create a bit of an aura feeling in these archangel wings. So I'm just gonna spin this out for a while and I'll come back shortly and show you the wet and dry result. I'm so curious to see what happens to the cells. Already you can see them opening up slowly but surely. It makes a difference as well when you're having a copper metallic base or any metallic base and you're swiping on top of it. Metallic paints are slightly heavier than everyday tube paints. So let's see how this turns out. It's just a curious thought and I just wonder, do any of you watching now, do you believe that you have a spiritual guide in your life? Perhaps a loved one that's gone before you or do you ever feel guided in some way? I get a strong sense of being guided. I 
I've now finished my fluid art painting for today and I'm just touching up the sides just by picking up the paint and using my finger to fill in any gaps. And I'm really happy with how these little cells have turned out. I'm just going to show you in a moment the wet result. And just thinking about the things around you that you can do a poor painting on. Most of my art is nature inspired and the fact that I had these beautiful angel wings cut by my friend Colin who did this during lockdown. He bought these sets of angel wings to put in the garden. Such a wonderful, thoughtful thing for him to do. And it's been sat there and I've been thinking I'd love to do a painting on them. So I'm so glad that I got to do that at last. Now I had a little bit in my paint here, so I had to dig it out and I filled the hole with a drop of paint. It's so satisfying fixing the paintings, isn't it, when something goes wrong. I'm not sure if that was a fly or a bit of dirt. So you can see the little cells that have formed and the impact on the cell activator as it's gone across this painting. So happy with the black and the white cell activator. And I'm gonna try a gold one next. I've got my tri art paints, which act as wonderful cell activators too. So I'm trying those out. So there's the wet result and a bit of a close up. I just want to say thank you so much to Kim. It's been a wonderful, playful, experimental time. And I've just, it's been such an organic process and you've given me so many ideas. Just from the idea of being playful and letting go of the process and going with it, it's been an absolute delight. So now I get my angel wings. I'm gonna put them away to dry. And now I'm gonna mix the paints up and collect any drips to form a new painting next time. With my painting drips, I often just do an experimental piece, um, use leftover paints to create a new whole painting. But what I love doing is mixing it all together and seeing what colour is formed. So what colours do you think is going to come out of these? The copper, brown, blue, rose orchid and a bit of black and white. So I'm just going to mix it all together and we've got a lovely sage green. <laughs> so I'll save whatever leftover paints I've got from here and I'll use it again. So thank you so much for being here today. It's been wonderful experimenting. I've got lots to show you in the upcoming videos and lots of nature inspired work to show you. So here the angel wings all dry. Happy creating. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope whatever you do, you find joy in every moment of creativity. Let's hop over to Kim's channel now and see what she's created. I can't wait. All her details for the video, in case you've missed this today, are in the comments below and the description. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.